Jonathan Taylor Thomas was one of the 1990s biggest teen idols, thanks to a series of hit movies and shows. Why has he been missing from Hollywood ever since? We've got all the details. From the very beginning, Thomas was not a huge fan of the culture within Hollywood. He enjoyed a normal childhood in Pennsylvania before he began acting, far from the glamour and scandal of the entertainment industry. As a kid, he loved playing outdoors, fly fishing, and spending time with his friends. In short, his upbringing couldn't have been more different than his life in Hollywood. Today in the cafeteria, we made Bobby Deavers laugh so hard, he shot peas out his nose. Thomas was lucky enough to hold on to his friends from childhood, even as his career took off. Hanging out with them when he wasn't working gave him a sense of normalcy he lacked when he was on set. In an interview with Premier Magazine in 1996, the young actor described Hollywood as, quote, neurotic and weird, and said he craved the normalcy of going home and playing with his friends. With that in mind, it's no surprise that Thomas eventually decided that it was time to pack up and leave Hollywood behind. With impressive credits like Home Improvement and The Lion King to his name, Thomas had already assembled a very impressive resume at a shockingly young age. But for a newbie actor, especially one still making his way through childhood, working so hard came at a high price. While there are legal limits to how long child actors are allowed to work in a day, Thomas still felt overtaxed. Between acting, going to school, preparing for new roles, and trying to maintain some kind of social life, the young talent was busy at all hours of the day. This intense workload eventually started to affect his health. He often showed up to work on home improvement feeling under the weather, simply because he was dealing with so much stress at such a young age. As he explained to People magazine in 1994, "...you have school, friends, learning your lines, and making sure your performance is up to speed. I can't tell you how many shows I've done with full-blown migraine headaches." It's clear that Thomas rarely had a moment to himself during this time in his life. Coming down with migraines at the age of 12 due to extreme burnout definitely seems to have played a role in discouraging Thomas from continuing to act full-time as an adult. Thomas's status as one of the biggest teen idols of his era might seem enviable, but attracting that level of constant, insatiable public attention isn't all it's cracked up to be, as Thomas told The New York Times in 1997. It's sometimes distracting to look over and see a whole group of girls staring and giggling. You are a part of their life, and there is a lot that is owed them. But it's difficult, because you want to make everyone happy, but if you try to do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. In a 1998 interview with Conan O'Brien, Thomas said that being approached by fans at inopportunity opportune times could get awkward. He went on to recount a particularly uncomfortable encounter in which an eager fan approached him in St. Patrick's Cathedral. When O'Brien asked him if he was still going by the nickname JTT, Thomas replied, oh, I'm over that. I've always been over that. As an adult, he prefers to live a very private life, which is a luxury he certainly did not have when he was younger. Thomas became very successful at a young age due to his natural talent for acting. But even during those years when it seemed like he was absolutely destined to continue acting into adulthood, Thomas remained open-minded about pursuing other career paths. At the height of his fame, Thomas was clear-eyed on the reality of his life options as a child star. In his 1996 conversation with Premier, he discussed one of his most impressively mature beliefs, namely that the reason so many child actors struggle to deal with the demands of the industry as they get older is because they have never considered that acting might not be the right career choice for them after all. Even in 1996, with his career at its apex, Thomas resisted putting all of his eggs in one basket. In fact, he believed that doing so would mean courting failure. As he told the magazine at the time, he didn't want to base his life on, quote, one thing. Thomas always worked hard in school, just as he worked hard when he was acting. But eventually, he realized that it was becoming downright impossible to balance both, especially while holding himself to a high standard. Ultimately, Thomas decided that he needed to take some time away from acting in order to finish his high school education. When Thomas came to this realization, he was still working on home improvement. The popular young actor knew that leaving would be a disappointment to the show's legions of fans, but he had to make the best choice for his future. So in 1998, Thomas left the sitcom for good. After Thomas graduated from high school and set his sights on college, he reflected on his choice and realized that he had absolutely made the right call. During an interview at the 1999 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, he said he worried he would have wound up in a, quote, early grave if he had tried to keep up the balance between work and school. Although Thomas's reasons for skipping out on home improvement were understandable, his co-stars still felt disappointed by his sudden exit, particularly when the young actor refused to return for even cameo appearances as the series reached its end. Thomas's choice to focus on school rather than coming back to say goodbye to the show in its finale became a particularly tender spot for his colleagues, and it seems like he may have burned some professional bridges as a result. As Patricia Richardson, who played Thomas's mom, Jill Taylor, on the show, told TV Guide at the time, "...it's a pretty sore point 
point around here. I think there were a lot of bad feelings all along. I don't think it's a good idea that he didn't show up, but I don't always think he gets the best advice. Home Improvement star Tim Allen was also upset by Thomas's refusal to return for the show's highly anticipated finale episode, particularly when Thomas reportedly seemed irritated to be asked. Allen later told TV Guide that Thomas was, quote, a little miffed at him about the split, particularly when the older star began complaining publicly about his former TV son's refusal to participate for much of the show's final season. The pair eventually mended fences, though, and Thomas appeared as a guest star on Allen's later sitcom, Last Man Standing. Hey, Mike Baxter. Hey. And you look familiar. <laughs> Thomas could have probably continued acting full-time after finishing high school, had he been interested in doing so, but instead he chose to go down a different path, one that involved far less time as the teen heartthrob known as JTT. Instead of getting back in front of the camera, Thomas decided to pursue higher education. He had always worked hard to earn good grades in school, even as he juggled homework with time on set. Suddenly, he had the opportunity to simply focus on academics without juggling acting as well. Thomas's college years were richly multifaceted. He enrolled in Harvard and was eventually able to study abroad at St. Andrews University in Scotland. Later on, he ended up at Columbia University, where he graduated from the School of General Studies in 2010. Thomas thoroughly enjoyed his time in college, surrounded by more books than fans, and later called it, quote, a novel experience after all that time spent on movie and TV sets in his childhood. There is no denying that Thomas was a major teen idol, but time marches on, and every teen idol has to grow up at some point. As many of them discover, early fame doesn't always translate to success in one's adult years. Though his star power didn't necessarily diminish, Thomas found it hard to transition from wholesome family entertainment to more adult roles as he aged. Compounding this problem was the fact that while Thomas's fans weren't necessarily ready for him to grow up, he was looking to take on more challenging roles that took him out of his comfort zone. However, he was also at peace with the idea of moving on to something new, if going in a different artistic direction wasn't in the cards for him. As he told the New York Times in 1997, I would like to do edgier material because that's what seems to be respected. Maybe this will last forever. Acting will get you to a lot of places, but there are a multitude of things I can do later on. Acting is just one of them. Though it might seem otherwise to the casual observer, Thomas did not actually leave acting after exiting home improvement and enrolling in college. He has occasionally appeared in movies, albeit minor ones, and even voiced Tyler Tucker for a short run of episodes on the hit Nickelodeon cartoon The Wild Thornberries. Although Thomas has never again been a regular on a TV series after his time on home improvement came to an end, he has continued doing a wide variety of guest spots. You might have spotted Thomas on shows like Eight Simple Rules, Smallville, or Veronica Mars. Home Improvement fans were particularly thrilled to see Thomas appear alongside his TV dad, Tim Allen, on four episodes of Last Man Standing, and he also worked behind the camera to direct episodes of the series. However, Thomas has not acted since 2015, when he wrapped up this short role, so maybe his days in front of the camera really are done for good this time. That said, he is still reportedly interested in work behind the scenes, including more directing, writing a pilot with former Home Improvement co star Zachary Ty Bryan, and producing a show called Master of Ceremonies about the Chippendales dance review scene of the 1980s. With all that in mind, perhaps we haven't seen the last of Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite child stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.